Barigani. Morris, can we Morris, can we get that? How's everybody doing? Um, my name is Victor Simmons. I am the library administrator here at the Auburn Avenue Research Library. Um, I'm going to take a few minutes to welcome you all and thank you all for being here, and then we'll get the show rolling. Um, many of you know what it is that we do here, and so celebrating Kwanzaa and specifically Nia is an important part of what we do on a daily basis, on an annual basis here at the Auburn Avenue Research Library. So as a show of hands, how many of you in the audience, is this your first time at the Kwanzaa celebration at the Auburn Avenue Research Library? Welcome. And I'm sure you will be truly entertained today. Um, it is an amazing event. How many in the audience, is this your second, third, fourth, tenth time here? Thank you for coming back. Um, I'm sure I'll see you again next year. Um, with NIA and, and Auburn Avenue Research Library, many of you know that year in and year out, we do an, an amazing amount of programs, and many of those programs are due to our relationships with different organizations in the community, um, from Diaspora U to the A3C Music Festival to the African American Film Critics Association. None of that would be possible all those programs that you all attend on a, on a monthly basis would not be possible if it weren't for our relationships with those groups within the community. So we want to thank them. We want to thank you for attending our programming. Um, many of you may not know that next year, 2019, a few days from now, we will begin celebrating our 25th anniversary. So thank you. For 25 years of being located at 101 Auburn Avenue and being able to provide an amazing service to our community. Um, so thank you all for supporting us for 25 years. I want to make sure that you, if you haven't seen our friends group out there at their table, take the time out, support us and support them by volunteering your time to be a member of the, of the Friends of Auburn Avenue, um, as well as supporting us if you can't find the time, well, financially. Um, everything that you buy from them goes right back to us, and we truly appreciate it. If writing a check or giving cash is not your thing and you want to support us with your debit cards or whatever, we also are, we take donations through um, our the Library Foundation. Um, their website is afplf.org. Um, that's A for Atlanta, F for Fulton, P for Public, L for Library, dot O-R-G. Um, there you can give however much you want to give, how often you want to give it. Um, for our 25th anniversary, we're really pushing the idea of 25 for 25. So for a dollar for every year that we've been here providing this amazing service to you all, and if we can get even just this room to do 25 for, for, for Auburn, you will see the changes in what we are able to do with that money as far as programming is concerned. Um, and there's plenty of people that we want to bring through these doors for you all to attend and be a part of. So if you have a moment, take a, take a moment, buy, a, buy a, a bag of chips out there from the friends group. If you don't want anything from them, just put a couple of change, dollars, quarters, it doesn't matter. We, we're just happy that you're here, that you're supporting us physically, spiritually, and um, I hope that you all have a wonderful day today. I know you will. Um, every year it is an amazing event, and it never gets old. <laughs> it never gets old. We are thankful to all. And um, without further ado, let's move this right along. I'm going to introduce the Clark Atlanta University professor, Dr. Chike uh, Kua, who will come and do the libation. Thank you. Everybody say, it's our time. It's our, time. It's our, season. It's our season. Come on, it's our time. It's our, time. It's our, season. It's our season. No limits. No, limits. no, boundaries. no boundaries. I see blessings, I see blessings. All, around all around me. No limits. No, limits. no, boundaries. no boundaries. I see blessings, I see blessings. All, around me. all around me. Give yourselves a wonderful round of applause. A great black educator by the name of Dr. Benjamin E. Mays said it's 1159. 
on the clock of destiny. And life is like a minute, only 60 seconds in it. Forced upon you, can't refuse it. Didn't seek it, didn't choose it. But it's up to you to use it. You'll suffer if you lose it. Give account if you abuse it. It's only a minute, but eternity is in it. And with that minute, you, me, and we can change and transform the world. If you believe that we here today in this room can change and transform the world, would everyone please say, Ashe? Got to be stronger than that, Ashe? We know that Ashe means I agree. It means let it be so. But it also represents the activating energy and the presence of the spirit that is both within us and around us at all times. And so we use that as a call and response uh, when we want you to remember something or add emphasis to something. My name is Dr. Chika Akua, and I am a professor of educational leadership at Clark Atlanta University, and I want to welcome you to Kwanzaa 2018. Give yourselves another wonderful round of applause for being here. All right. And we know that it is customary that whenever African people gather together, that we must always raise up, elevate, and celebrate our ancestors. Ashe? And so we do that by way of the libation ceremony. That is our opportunity to not only elevate and celebrate, but evaluate those amongst our people who raised up a standard for us to live by. An ancestor is not just someone who lived and died in your family line. It is someone who lived their life according to a standard of excellence, integrity, and character. Ashe? Ashe. And so I will uh, take some water, and we will pour some of that water into this plant, uh, which represents Mother Earth. And we know that our bodies are made up primarily 75 to 90 percent water. And we're not just calling their names, we're evoking their presence, we're evoking their example so that we can move forth in power. Ashe? Ashe. All right. And so we'll begin by pouring libation and giving honor to the Most High, who is known by many names and worshipped in many ways. Certainly the one source and the one force through which we all live move and have our being. Ashe? Ashe? We pour libation to those of our ancestors who built our first nations and our great civilizations, those such as Imhotep and Ptahotep, Queen T and Hatshepsut. Ashe? Ashe? We pour libation for those of our ancestors who left the, the Nile Valley and ventured to the west coast of Africa and built the great empires of Ghana and Mali and Sunghoi. Ashe? Ashe? Those such as Sunni Ali Bear, those such as Sundiata, the Lion King of Mali. Ashe? Ashe? We pour libation to those great Africans who were the Moors, who built great civilizations, and who even ruled parts of Europe for almost 800 years. Ashe? Ashe? We pour libation for those great Africans who provided resistance when aliens and invaders came to take the land and to take the people. Ashe? Ashe. Those such as Yasantiwa and Queen Nzinga. Ashe? Ashe? We pour libation for those of our ancestors who lost their lives on the Middle Passage, which is the trip by ship to Africa and America, to America. Those whose names and those whose faces we may never know. Ashe? Ashe. We pour libation for those Africans that once they landed on the shores of North America and South America and Central America and places in the islands of the Caribbean, those who would not let us forget who we are. Ashe? Ashe. Those such as Oludu Iquiano, John Russworm. Ashe? Ashe? We pour libation for Frederick Douglass and Ida B. Wells. Ashe? Ashe. We pour libation for uh, Mama Araminta Harriet Tubman. Ashe? Ashe? We pour libation for those great Africans who built institutions which would live and survive and sustain long after they left. Those such as Mary McLeod Bethune, Booker T. Washington, and the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. Ashe? Ashe? We pour libation for the great historians who rescued and reconstructed our history and put it back into the hands of those of us who need it the most, those such as W.E.B. Du Bois and Carter G. Woodson. Ashe? Ashe? Those such as Chancellor Williams who wrote The Destruction of Black Civilizations. Ashe? Ashe? We pour libation 
for William Leo Hansberry, the father of black studies. Ashe. Ashe. We pour libation for those black scholars who had to study and also work in the community and the academy to help to raise our consciousness as well as our sense of commitment. Those such as Dr. John Henry Clark, Ashe. Ashe. Amos Wilson, the great black psychologist, Ashe. Ashe. Francis Cress Welsing, Ashe. Ashe. We pour libation for mothers of the movement, those such as Ella Baker, Coretta Scott King, and Rosa Parks, Ashe. Ashe. We pour libation for Fannie Lou Hamer, Ashe. Ashe. We pour libation for Minister Malcolm X and Dr. Martin Luther King, Ashe. Ashe. We pour libation for the great historian Dr. Ivan Van Sertema, Ashe. Ashe. We pour libation for one who served here in Atlanta for many years just as his base for what he was doing all over the world. Nana Bafour Amenkwetia II, also known as Dr. Asa Hilliard III, Ashe. Ashe. And now we take a little bit of time to call the names of our personal ancestors and our family, those who have made their transition and crossed over. But though they have departed in the flesh, they are still alive, active, and intervening on our behalf. Would you please call the names of your personal ancestors at this time, or any names that I fail to call from history? Shay. Shay. Nelson and Winnie Mandela. Shay. Ashe. Ashe. For the children yet unborn, we say. Ashe. And for all those named and unnamed, we say Ashe. 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 Right. Thank you for participating in the libation ceremony. And now that our entire community is here and present, it is time for the candle lighting. Ashe. So, the purpose of lighting the candles is very, very important in the celebration of Kwanzaa. We know that Kwanzaa is built on a principle of seven. Seven days, seven symbols, seven principles, and seven candles to represent the Nguzo Saba, which is the seven principles. We begin by lighting the black candle in the middle, which is the unity candle. And then we go uh, from left to right. Uh, the, the red to the green, back and forth. And the reason for this is because red represents struggle, Ashe? Ashe. And the green represents the land and prosperity. And we must understand that there can be no prosperity without first having what? Struggle. And we must be willing to struggle to produce what only we can do for ourselves, Ashe? Ashe. And so we'll begin the candle lighting ceremony, but in order to do that, I'm going to need a few volunteers from amongst our youth. So if there's a young person, I, I see two right here, come on down, there's, there's two. I see a third one back there, three and four right there, come on up, real quick. There's number five, all right. And we're going to need two more. All right. All right, I think we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Wonderful, all right. So we start with... Uh, the unity candle, the black candle in the middle. And the reason that Umoja unity is first is because in order for us to do our work, we must first have unity. Nothing can be established effectively with fir without first having unity. But please be mindful, brothers and sisters. You don't have to wait until all of our people unify. All great movements, whether protest or production, started with a small group of unified African people. Ashe? So we're not waiting for everybody. We're waiting for those that have the vision and for those that have the commitment to carry forth. Ashe? Ashe. And so we begin with the first candle, which is Umoja. Everybody say, Umoja. Umoja. Unity. 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 All right, so you can put your hand on top of mine. Ashe. Ashe. Let's give our youth a round of applause. And if you would go to the end of the line and the next person can come up. So Umoja's unity to strive for and maintain unity within the family, community, nation, and race. The second principle is Kuji Chagulia. Everybody say Kuji Chagulia. To strive for and maintain unity. Uh, no, I'm sorry. That was, that was unity. 
Guji Chagulia is self-determination to define ourselves, name ourselves, and speak for ourselves. And this is so important because we must be the ones who define ourselves and name ourselves rather than allowing others to tell us who we are. Ashe? Ashe. And so we start with the first red candle. Everybody say Kuji Chagulia once again. Ashe, let's give her a round of applause. Self-determination, she even took a bow, all right. And the next principle, of course, is Ujima. Everybody say Ujima. Ujima. Collective work and responsibility. To make us our collective vocation, the building and developing of our communities, and to make our sisters and brothers problems, what? Our problems, and to solve them together. No one will do for us what we must do for ourselves. Ashe? Even if they mean well, we have to be the ones to do for self. Ashe? Ashe? So now we will light the Ujima candle. Put your hand on top of mine. All right, let's give her a round of applause. Right. All right. So now we've got Umoja. Everybody say Umoja. Umoja. Unity. Unity. Kujichagulia. Self-determination. Self Ujima. Ujima. Collective work and responsibility. And then we come to Ujima. Everybody say Ujima. Ujima is cooperative economics. To build and develop our, our stores, shops, and other businesses, and to profit from them together. Ashe? Ashe? We can finance our own revolution simply by buying black, rather than financing our own oppression. But this isn't necessarily about boycotting others. It's simply about supporting our own and going out of our way to do it. Ashe? Ashe. Put your hand on top of mine. All right. So here is the candle for Ujima. All right. Let's give her a round of applause. Come on up here. All right. Don't lean on the table, though. Don't lean on the table. Scoot over here. All right, so we're going to go through this again because we want to make sure, especially our young people, know each of the principles. The first one is, everybody say, Umoja. Umoja. Unity. Unity. Kujichagulia. Self-determination. Self Ujima. Ujima. Collective work and responsibility. Work and responsibility. Ujima. Ujima. Cooperative, Cooperative economics. And now we come to today. Habari Ghani. Nia, of course, Habari Ghana means what? What's the news? And the news for today is Nia. Nia means purpose, and we must be very clear about our purpose for being on the planet. Ashe? Because if we don't know what our purpose is, someone else will assign us a purpose, and we might not like the purpose that they assigned us for. Ashe? And so we must stand up and be who we were called to be and fulfill our purpose for being on the planet. And so now we're ready to light the candle for Nia. I want you to put your hand on top of mine. All right. All right, let's give him a round of applause. All right, let's run through it real quick again. Umoja. Unity. Kujichagulia. Self-determination. Ujima. Collective work and responsibility. Ujima. Cooperative economics. Cooperative economics. Nia. Nia. Purpose. Purpose. And then we have what we're going to see a lot of today when Giwai Amada comes out, and that is, if you repeat after me, Kaumba. Kaumba. Which means what, everybody? Creativity. Creativity. Very, very important. All right. So. All right. Let's give her a round of applause. All right. And is there anybody else who has Anybody else that hasn't gone? Okay. So the last principle, of course, we know is Imani. Everybody say Imani. Imani. And what does Imani mean? Faith. Imani means faith, to believe with all of our hearts and our parents, our leaders, our teachers, and in the righteousness and victory of our struggle. It is so important that we never lose faith. We started off with Umoja, which means unity. Nothing can be started without first unifying the mind and unifying the hearts and minds of a committed group of people. But nothing can be sustained without also having Imani 
which means faith. Ashe? Ashe. All right, so I want you three to put your hand on top of mine. All right, let's give all of our young people a wonderful round of applause. And you guys can go back and take your seats. All right. Well, brothers and sisters, what we have done is we didn't just light the candles. Lighting the candles represents bringing light to the practice of the principles. Ashe? Ashe. One more time. Lighting the candles represents bringing light and life to the practice of the principles. We know that Dr. Malana Karinga created Kwanzaa in 1966, but it's based on ancient African traditions. And when he created the Nguzo Saba, the seven principles, he said this is the moral minimum. In other words, these principles should be the least that we can expect our people to live by. Ashe? Ashe. All right. Well, in just a moment, we're going to uh, bring up Giwa and Mata. But again, let's give our wonderful young people a round of applause. And we've got some help up here uh, who's going to help us to move this table. And then we're going to get this show uh, to the next level, all right? So if you'll bear with us for just a moment. And I want to take a moment while they're moving this before we bring them up um, to remind you to show some love to the vendors out front. Ashe? All right, I know Giwai and Mata has some calendars out there. They have some t-shirts out there. I also have books and DVDs that normally go for $20 and $25, but today they're only $10 a piece. Ashe? So we have several vendors out there who would love to have your support before you leave today. Ashe? Ashe. Now, how many of you have seen Giwai and Mata present before? Yeah, make some noise for them. Yes. They have been putting it down in our community for over a quarter of a century. And so now, it is my great pleasure to introduce to you these incredible women who have captured the spirit of Mama Africa right here in Atlanta, Georgia. Stand to your feet and let's welcome Giwai Mata. Oh, y'all can do better than that. Let's make some noise. Barigani Nia Barigani. We are Giwayan Mata, the all sister dance, percussion, and vocal ensemble. We are very excited to be here today amongst our Auburn Avenue Research Library family. We've been celebrating Kwanzaa with the Auburn Avenue Research Library for over 10 plus years. <laughs> sometimes in this very space before the beautiful renovations, sometimes at the Margaret Mitchell Library, and in any case, any case, it's always a great time. 
And do you all remember that one time when we were at Drew Charter School and we said, let's encourage more people to come. We need to fill up that 500 seat theater. And we thought that would be enough space for you all, but no, not so much. You all still packed out the house until it overflowed. Yeah, 500 or so, we still had people in the aisles, we still had people on the side, we still had like a hundred little children in the front sitting crisscross applesauce, and then we still had people in the marketplace, and then we still had a whole bunch of people on the mission to get in. You know, those were some good times. I feel like today, we're gonna have a grand spanking good time as we acknowledge the fifth principle, Nia, which means purpose. Let's hear a little bit about who Giwayamata is and why we do what we do. Well, it's great that you asked, Leela. Because our name, Giwayamata, comes from a house term from Nigeria, which means elephant women. And just like the elephant women, we, Giwayamata, we nurture our young, we show respect to our fellow brothers and sisters, and we always pay homage to our ancestors. We are here to affirm a major purpose of our organization, which is to celebrate our lives as women and to uplift our communities and our planet. We do that with dances, rhythms, and songs from various places in the African diaspora. We are also here to help affirm your purpose. So whether your purpose in life on this planet is to teach, to heal, to learn, to nurture, to fight back, to speak out, or to grow, we affirm your place in this place called life through the rhythms of our drums, the intentions of our footsteps, and the glee and the joys of our voice. We dedicate this performance to our elders and sisters whose hands clapped, feet stomped, and drums beat out the rhythm of their ancestors and simultaneously the future and the past of their daughters. We dedicate this performance to our elders and ancestors who live in our work. We dedicate this performance to the freedom fighters who sacrifice so much each and every day for all of our people. We dedicate this, to, this performance to all of the people who diligently plant the seeds so that we can have a better tomorrow. We dedicate this performance to our sister organizations like Shine, Sister Care Alliance right here in Atlanta, and also our sisters way in Chicago, Iodeli Dance and Drum, who are using the power of culture, the power of creativity, and the power of compassion to heal our communities. And last but not least, we dedicate this performance to each and every one of you. So please enjoy our show.
no introduction because 
She has helped to bring many of us into the world, being a community midwife, including my son, Marcus Cavanaugh Spence, who I am glad to say that his wife and my grandson, Zion Cavanaugh Spence, are out there in the audience with us today. Hey, Zion! <laughs> hey, Ashley! <laughs> Woo! And so it's unique that Saran and I are on this stage together today and all of the other days that we have been together as Giwa and Mata. We started out as sisters in the birthing community, she being my helper to bring my midwife, to bring my son in, and then us being here as co-founders of Giwa and Mata. <laughs> along with eight other women who have just been doing this for 25 years. And for 25 of those years, Sister Omelika Koumba has been our artistic director and now artistic director emeritus, where she laid with us a humongous foundation upon which many more generations of young people will be able to lay their feet and walk along this path. So we give thanks for all 10 of us and for her in particular to come through and uh, create this, we call it magic and it feels magical and some people tell us it's magical. So this magic here. Hi. Well, hey, let's... <laughs> Let's tell them the beginning of our story, how we came together doing our first show with the Muslim community, and then let's tell them about our first show at Spelman, our first official show. How about that? Yeah. You. Well, the thing that I, I remember a lot about that first show was that it was the weekend of Freaknik. Anybody remember that? <laughs> was anybody here at that show? <laughs> no? Yes, okay. Elimo, stand up. Is that you? <laughs> Elimo has yes. been to every one of our shows since the very first yes. one. Yes, <laughs> Ashe, Ashe. <laughs> yes. And so that was a, a special uh, moment for us because it gave us an acknowledgement from creation that we were to do what we were doing. The traffic was backed up all around the city. People who came there to be in our audience were really special, really good diehards. And we had an audience that said to us, we're on the right path. We had Sister Madeline who was there, who um, the opened women up. The Women of the Calabash. Our, yes, from yeah. Women of the Calabash who opened our show, or I should say, we, we opened, opened her show. Her show. <laughs> yes. And when we came out, she said thank you to the women who just lit up the stage and had it on fire. So we've been here doing Giwai Mata for many years now, and I want to take this moment to say thank you to all of you for continuing to follow along with us. We had our, yes, thank you. We had our first uh, concert, legitimately, where we got paid with the women of the Calabash, and uh, not women of the Calabash, but the women of Islam. Mm -hmm. And so that was really a kickoff point for us in 1993. So when was it that I got called to be a part of the ensemble? And when did you get called to be a part? How did it all come together? Well, there's a good friend of ours, Sister Kaya Bayete, uh -huh. who I hope she's in the audience. She texted me. What's up, Kaya? Yay! <laughs> she planted <Okay>. the seed. <laughs> okay. Kaya was the one who gave out the call to Giwai and Mata. She called me and said, hey, I know some Muslim women who are doing a celebration, 93, and they would like to have women drummers so that they can let their hair down. And so she called me, I called Sister Omelika. Omelika was prominent in the dance and drum community even then. And she called other women and out of the other women that she called, 10 of us came together and said, da -di da da -di da 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 And we've been going ever since then. This year, 2018, we are about to culminate our 25th anniversary. 
Ashe. And of those 25 years, we have seen about 100 women who have come through Giwaya Mata. Yes. And today we have a few of our apprentices. Are any of our apprentices in here? Woohoo! They're, they're probably working. They're earning their yes. dues. But they're here working. And our existence would not be complete without community support. Talking about the Nguzu Saba and embracing all seven of the principles. This is what we are about. This is what us as a family, as a community is about. We have you all, our audience, who we love so much. We enjoy performing for you all every single time that we do. We also have board members that help to support us. Are any of our board members in here? Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Stand up. Yes. 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 Woodyard. Thank you. Thank I saw you. Ami Kiyasu in here a little while ago. Uh -huh. We have and a few uh, of them that are outside in the, in the lobby Yes. that are selling some of our products. I know we're not supposed to mention selling in here, but we do have some things that are on our table, and we would love for you all to support us. We have calendars that are very, very nice. They are reflective of our 25th anniversary concert, and we have t-shirts and other items as well. Okay. Yes. And so I just want to make one quick announcement. Um, I want to say thank you to the Auburn Avenue Research Library for having us here for at least 10 years now. And um, I want you all to let us know how much you appreciate us being here by accessing the survey that is on the floor under your seat. This is a quick announcement. We'll make it again. So I want you all to know there's no number, there's no door prize or anything like that up under your seat. But there is a survey that will help to give us feedback on what, how you feel about our performance and on how we can stay in touch with you. How about that? All right. Thank you. Want a belly, my way, Nikki, how we had it. Want a belly, my way, Naka, yon, yon. Want a belly, my way, Nikki, how we had it. Want a belly, my way, Naka, yon, yon. Want Naka, how we had it. Want Naka, how we had it. Want Naka, yon, yon. Want Naka, how we had it. Want Naka, how we had it. Want Naka, yon, yon. Want a belly, my way, Nikki, how we had it. Want a belly, my way, Naka, yon, yon. Want a belly, my way, Nikki, how we are there? Want a belly, my way, Naka, yo, yo. Want Naka, how we are there? Want Naka, how we are there? Want Naka, Want Naka, how we are there? Want Naka, how we are there? Want Naka, Want a belly, my way, Nikki, how we are there? Want a belly, my way, Naka, yo. Want a belly, my way, Nikki, how we are there? Want a belly, my way, Naka, yo.
is it afternoon? Good afternoon. I've been here all day, so I don't know what time it is. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here with you guys. My name is Nika Kelly, and hey. <laughs> um, Habari Ghani, thank you. Nia. So I am the artistic director of Quilombo Creative Collective. <laughs> And we are the official performance company of Quilombo Academic and Cultural Institute. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Quilombo is a culturally relevant, African-centered, independent school teaching for us and by us, located in Decatur. And we have our director, there she is, Tashi Moja, raise your hand. <laughs> Um, if you're a Quilombo parent, just wave. All right, so we have our wonderful students here to share with you a piece called Liberté, or Tomanka. And this piece was a piece that was um, originally created when Guinea won, won its independence in 1954, I told Something like that. <laughs> 57, thank you. So um, we're, gonna, we're here to share that piece with you and to celebrate, right? So you guys give it up for Quilombo Academic and Cultural Institute.
to the freedom fighters. To the freedom fighters. To the freedom fighters. To the freedom fighters. Ashe. Ashe. We dedicate this next piece and that gangster piece so far to the freedom fighters. This next dance, song, and rhythm is called Kasa. Everyone say Kasa. Kasa is a dance and rhythm that comes to us from the Linke, Malinke people. It's a body of rhythms and dances that encourages the rice farmers to keep on working. How many of you ever need encouragement to keep on working? Yes. And those sisters just needed our encouragement to keep on working. So right now, we're going to engage in a little bit of people speak. This is your chance to speak. This is our opportunity to hear what the people have to say. What are the people going to say to keep us filled with purpose? What kinds of proverbs and words of wisdom and my mama said and my grandmama told me's are you all going to say to us today as we do Kasa and people speak? So there'll be a few times, maybe about five or six times, where there's a pause in the rhythm, a break. It stops. And guess whose turn is going to be to speak? Your turn. The people. So what we'll do as often as we can is that we'll pass a microphone to you so I'm going to um, call on our tech crew to make sure that we have a cordless mic. And if we don't have that, I'm just going to ask that you stand up and come on down this way so that you can speak into one of these microphones. Yes? Yeah. Keep it powerful. Keep it purposeful. Keep it like under 15 seconds, though. Sungu tuta fo, fenty bolo be. Sungu tuta fo, fenty bolo. Kama den ta fo, fenty bolo be. Kama den ta fa, fenty bolo. Sungu tuta fo, fenty bolo be. Sungu tuta fo, fenty bolo. Kama den ta fo, fenty bolo be. Kama den ta fa, fenty bolo. Sungu tuta fo, fenty bolo be. Sungu tuta fo, fenty bolo. Kama den ta fo, fenty bolo be. Kama den ta fa, fenty bolo. Come on and tap off, Fenty Bolo B. Come on and tap off, Fenty Bolo. Break down. Mama words of wisdom. <laughs> the baby bird will not crow until it hears the grown bird. <laughs> If 
you show a child the moon, all he sees is your finger. Every tub must stand on its own feet. <laughs> Wisdom is knowing that changing what's on the outside starts by changing what's on the inside. <laughs> Life is hard by the yard, but a cinch by the inch. One one cocoa fill basket. Thyself, be thyself. Yes. Ubuntu, I am because we are. We are, therefore I am. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. If you plan to, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Judge a book by looking at the cover. Love is helping someone to grow into the nature in which it was created to be. Head up, back straight, walk like you mean something. Sticks bound together will never be broken.
From the words of great Betsy Hill, what you shall weep is what you sow. First step Man towards the... nation building, start within the nation that is your home. catch some of those dance movements oh you did so you don't need your warm-up for the next piece do you need your warm-up okay somebody said no so take your stuff out your laps taking a nice deep breath exhale deep breath in and exhale Y'all are like, what is she getting ready to have us do? <laughs> Raise your shoulders up to your ears. Drop them down. Shake it out. This time, inhale, raise your shoulders up. Drop them down, exhale. <sighs> Shake it out. Uh-huh. Raise those shoulders up. Drop them down. <sighs> Shake it out. Oh, they're getting crunk back there in the back. They probably have dance steps. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Take your chest out and back in. Chest out and back in. Move your chest to the right and left and right and left and right and left. Circle. Circle the other way. Little fast. Y'all got that part? All right, y'all, we're getting ready to get out of here. But not before you all dance with us. Okay. And not before you all chant with us. And not before y'all fill out those surveys underneath your chairs. Okay. And not before, well, how about this? After you dance with us and chant with us and fill out our surveys, you all can visit the marketplace in the lobby, yes? Okay. Now, there is going to be an electronic copy of the survey as well. Some of you like that technological Google form type stuff. But I'm gonna say this. If for some reason you don't fill out that little form, please remember to fill out the electronic one we need that information. We actually talk about it in our rehearsals. Did you see that person said that the show was too short? I was breathing all hard. 
So your feedback is important, okay? We're going to close out with a piece called Cuckoo. Everyone say Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Now we have so many wonderful, powerful, amazing Cuckoo teachers, one of which is Brother Yusuf Kumbasa. Has anyone ever taken his class? Yes. All right. The man is amazing. He's one of our teachers for Cuckoo. And then this piece is choreographed by like almost every leader Giwai and Mata woman that's ever come through the company. So we have little sprinkles and tidbits from various company members. We have stuff from Amamansa, we have stuff from Zenaida, we have stuff from Nicole, we have stuff from Ayana, we have stuff from Omelika. Omelika! <laughs> Woo! Yes. So we're gonna do cuckoo for y'all. Some of you have seen it. Some of you've danced it. So that means that when it's your time, you gotta throw down. Y'all not ready. They not ready. Cause I said when it's your turn, you gotta throw down and then like one person said, woo. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. When it's your turn, you have to throw down. Yes. Uh-huh. All right. When I say akukwaye, you say aye. Akukwaye? Aye. Whoa. It's about to go down. <laughs> Woo! I love black people. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so excited. All right. Akukwaye. Akukwaye. Akukwaye, amanse ya. All right. If anybody ever tells you that black people are not doing our thing. I want y'all to just start doing that chant. Just out at the mall somewhere. And I bet you, like 10 people are gonna join in. We are communicating with each other, y'all. We are teaching our children. We are respecting one another. We are uplifting our traditions. Ashe? Ashe. All right. Akukwaye. Akukwayo. Akukwaye, Amansaya. Akukwaye. Akukwayo. Akukwaye, Amansaya. Akukwaye. Akukwayo. Akukwaye, one more time. A a kuku. Akukwaye. Akukwayo. Akukwaye, Amansaya. Hey. Bring that rhythm down. Bring the rhythm down. Bring that rhythm down. Give me a break, give me a break and end it. All right, I'm looking for something. Okay, there's something. Okay, maybe people standing on their feet or something. I don't know, like, maybe people screaming out of control. Yes. And then like, this funky fresh breakdown that comes next. So y'all feel free to stand up this whole time. And if somebody is standing up in front of you, don't be salty, just stand up too. Okay. And when these dancers are dancing, y'all better scream, you better yell, you better shout. Ow! I dedicate that scream to Sister Anana Harris Paris. She screams all the time. Woo! Akukwaye! Akukwayo! Akukwaye, Amanseya! Akukwaye! Akukwayo! Akukwaye, Amanseya! Akukwaye! Akukwayo! Akukwaye, Amanseya!
Come on up. Come on up. And we can take some people right here in the front, facing us. Yes. Drummers, give me a break. Boom. Yes, boom, boom. Give me a heartbeat. Goom, 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 goom. All right. GYN Mata members, come on down here on the floor. Yes. All right. So, Sister Zakia is going to lead you in this. Can you all see her? If not, Sister Zakia, you can hop back on stage. How about Zakia hop back on stage? And the rest of the Giwa and Matas, yeah, good. All right, Giwa, spread out a little bit. Nice. All right, they look real ready. All right, movement number one. Hey! Okay. Now kick. Side. Kick. Side. Kick. Again. Side. Kick. Keep going. Side. Kick. Again. Side. Kick. Side. Movement number two. Shake it to the right. Shake it to the left. Shake it to the right. All right, keep going. Keep going. Shake it to the right. Shake it to the left. Shake it to the right. Shake it to the left. Shake it to the right. Yes. Now pause just a second. Pause just a second. Now, I have a question. Audience, do y'all know them? Wait, did they come here with y'all? Well, y'all need to be clapping. They up here dancing their souls out. Okay. We have a little GYN Mata in the making right here. Sister, say your name really loud. Tell me your name really loud. Everyone say, Aquia. Aquia wants to share her favorite cuckoo movement. You ready, Aquia? Oh! Let's, all right, do it again, Aquia. Do it again, go. Yes? Oh! Everybody, everybody, do it with her. And go now. Clap. Yeah! One more time. One more. Go the Aquia. Ba, 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 ba. Audience, stay up here. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Now, those of you in your seats, you get the chance to do the chant, okay? Y'all got to get them hype, remember, okay? Now, they're practicing. We'll practice too, okay? We'll practice too. Akukwaye. Akukwayo. Akukwaye Amansea. Akukwaye. Akukwayo. Akukwaye Amansea. Okay, y'all got it. Y'all got it. Now, my only note if these are your children up here, if that's your mama up here, if your daddy is on the stage, if your best friend is up here, scream their names, yell, shout, give them words of encouragement, okay? Akukwaye! Akukwayo! Akukwaye, Amanzea! Akukwaye! Akukwaye!
akukwa ye akukwa ye amante ya akukwa ye akukwa yo akukwa ye amante ya hey number one. let's hear it for him Aquia. Hey. Let's do it again. Go. Yes. Everybody on up. Make noise. Yes. Yes. You audience, you can return to your seats. to take this away. On the break, we'll let you I am out to take this thing away. Can I do that for you? First, we have Sister Angelica Trumer, the Artistic Director of Quilombo, Sister Nika Kelly. If you all saw all those fabulous outfits we were wearing during the show, Sister Ariella Bates. Sister Glennis Matthews. And Glennis so wonderfully is diligent about making sure that we have a sign language interpreter for our audience members. So I want to introduce Sister Nitzia. We have Sister Mama 
Leela Henderson. Ow! A second generation Giwa. We have Sister Olakun Sarasso. We have my cousin, Sister Angelina Dixon. We have mommy to be, Sister Irish Joy Hudson. We have one of our Giwa babies who said, Auntie Cousin Tamper, can I dance with y'all at the show? Sister Atala Kamara. We have the gangster choreographer of so far, Sister Zakia Kelly. We have yet another second generation Giwa and Mata, Sister Rashida Richard. Manager, Sister Lindy, Lindy Way Farmadu. I'm telling you, these GY and Monster people be doing all things. Stage manage, wearing black. I'm just pulling the outfit real quick and dance cuckoo, right? We have our apprentices for our 2018 year. Come on out, sisters. Sister Awata Ma'at, Erica Smith, Zarina Connery, and we have Sister Nakia, who is at home with her new baby. And we have Entisar Rashid, who's somewhere out there working diligently. We have Sister Mama Tyree Thornton. Woo! We have our founding members at, whoa. We have, oh wait, keep it popping. Keep it popping to die. Keep it popping. Keep it popping to die. Keep it popping. Keep it popping. To go, to, 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 as of 25 years ago. Please come forward, sisters. Keep that drum roll going for them. So these mamas had a vision. We have Sister Mama Saran Henderson, Sister Mama Gail Warner, Doris, I mean, Mama Auntie Jordan Jones. Woo! I am Sister Tambo Omiyale, the Artistic Director of GYM Mata. Give it up for our Quilombo dancers and drummers. Yeah! To the Auburn Avenue Research Library, to everyone who ever walked this planet and contributed something positive to our ancestors, to our children who are yet to be born. We say, Ashe, get on up, get on up, get on up. Let's take this rhythm, y'all. Yeah? Rhythm, please. Oh, okay. I was all ready. Okay, excuse me. Peace, everybody. Remember I told you I was going to come back and tell you about those surveys? That are, that's your part? Yes. I want to take it, but I'll give it back. I'll give it back. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Hey. Uh-huh. Now, get me on a good foot. On the break. Uh. Hey, give me rhythm. Give me rhythm. On a good foot. Give me cuckoo. 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 Get up, y'all. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Hey. Pop it out, pop it out. Give me some more. All right, spread out, y'all. After we break this down, we're going to do some seven harambes. Community. All right. Harambe means let's pull together. Can we get Brother Chike and Kua to come on up? Brother Chike. All right. So he's ready. All right. Let's take this rhythm out. Take the rhythm out. All right. Whose line is it? It's my line. Hey, do your surveys. 
And before you go, please visit our marketplace. We have calendars for sale. We have dance classes that start back up on January 6th. Uh-huh. Dance classes, surveys, calendars, t-shirts, and harambes. Yes? Surveys go back to the table. We have a Giwai Mata table right outside. Okay? All right. Brother Chike Akua. Yes. Yes. Let's give it up for Giwai Mata. Spread out, baby. Spread out. I already got my 25th anniversary calendar. I hope y'all get yours. I say? All right. Also, before we close with our seven Harambe's, I want you to know that right here at Auburn Avenue Library on January 12th, we have a Black Education Network conference. How many of you are familiar with Brother Tony Browder? Yes, he will be here with Nana Dr. Joyce King from Georgia State University and a number of other African-centered and conscious scholars who are going to be dealing with this issue of education. Ashe? So there should be some flyers in the back about that. We hope that you all can join us for that as well. Ashe? Ashe. All right, what does Harambe mean? Let's all pull together. So raise a black fist in the air. We're going to do our seven Harambe's. And on the seventh one, we want you to hold it long and strong. But every single time we do that Harambe, we want to shake the foundations of this place and let them hear us all the way throughout Auburn Avenue and all the way downtown. Ashe? Ashe. Here we go. One, two, three. Harambe! 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 Happy Kwanzaa! Safe travels!